Some of the innovative technology that's being used for the first time in London 2012 is cloud technology. So working with BT, we are deploying BT Hux, which is Hosted Unified Communication Service, which is 16,500 IP telephony handsets, which we're supporting the 6,000 employees and 70,000 volunteers, which will be running and delivering the games. This infrastructure that's being put in place will be part of uh, the legacy that will benefit East London beyond London 2012 itself. Now this is something that we'll see benefit organisations uh, of SMEs right the way through to large corporations and they'll all have the, the advantage of being able to uh, connect into this uh, infrastructure and utilise it to enable their businesses going forward. So we're looking at building a number of different skill sets as well to support the digital infrastructure that's being put in place here. I think one of the observations we've had is that there is a distinct lack at the moment in terms of skills. And we're keen to work not just on a, at a London level, but also at a country, UK level, to start to drive greater awareness in terms of this gap, but more importantly, actually look to address that gap. So we've been working with organisations like the Pearson Foundation to create curriculum that actually connects what the students are seeing happening in and around London 2012 with some of the uh, topics that they're learning at school, so specifically around maths and science. And so we've created this out of the block series that has gone out to all secondary schools, both state and independent, to support that connection. Without these skills, uh, it's very difficult for me to see how the UK can remain competitive um, and support the digital infrastructure that we clearly need to have in place in today's economy. Cisco is also driving an initiative called the British Innovation Gateway, or BIG, and this is very much aimed at entrepreneurs and start-up organisations, again, not just focused in London, but also across the UK. And the objective there is to provide a prize fund for startups and entrepreneurs such that they submit their ideas and we then provide them with this prize fund of money but also uh, mentorship and support services be it from uh, legal, PR, right the way through to financial. And we're working with many different organisations such as JP Morgan to drive that.